Nefarious Economist magazine calls shadow banning a conspiracy theory. Economist feigns ignorance about Internet's most common form of censorship, shadow banning. Imagine a classroom of fifth graders in history, and a couple of know it alls always putting their hands up, disrupting your otherwise perfect design. You ignore them. That is shadow banning. The couple is still around, you just don't give them a platform, neither word nor attention. In fact, you treat them as if they were no there. It happens in the digital world all the time, where social media platforms decide which persons to feature and which to delist, drink, and demonetize. Currently, the left leaning social networks Facebook, Twitter, and Google and YouTube are shadow banning conservative, right leaning voices. The left leaning Economist magazine knows this well. It itself bans conservative voices from its publication. In past decades, this was called censorship. These days, we just don't give those undesirable persons a digital platform. Shadow banning. All said and rhymed, The Economist denies that shadow banning on the internet exists at all, calling it a conspiracy theory. Shame on you, Economist. What, now I'm banned from commenting in your comments section. That kind of proves my point, doesn't it?